What's up, everybody? It's Magic the Racing Dudes here to watch the Suncoast Stakes at Tampa Bay Downs, Kentucky Oaks prep race. And you see the big heavy favorite there. Two to five is the four life talk. She's three to five on the morning line. Brings a ton of class, a lot of grade one experience, and of course won the grade two Demoiselle at a mile and an eighth last time out. So this should be a pretty easy race for biggest challenger is the number two power squeeze for trainer Jorge Delgado. Won the cash call stakes, a one-turn mile race at Gulfstream Park last month. Brings good figures, but she also comes from a bit off the pace, and you're going to see the four should be more forwardly placed, assuming that she breaks well. This filly looks beautiful on the track. A daughter of Gunrunner out of a Bernardini mare. Uh, this is good. To me, this feels like it's going to be a paid workout, but we'll see if I was going to try and play uh, an exacta to make a little bit more money instead of just on the favorite there. I do a 4-2 cold exact. Again, you're not getting a whole lot. If you want a little bit of value, watch out for the one. Who could ask for Mo for trainer Shug Begehi and jockey Tyler Gaffleone, but they're all in the gate for the Suncoast Stakes at Tampa Bay Downs. Race number five, Kentucky Oaks Prep. They're off. And right there, you see, well, actually, the five, Managing Mischief, is going to be hard-pressed to go to the lead. Uh, the six, Gorgeous Girl, going to cross over. Ooh, the one, checking up badly into the turn. Everybody crossed over on her. Uh, and you're going to see the four, Life Talk. Three wide, sitting about third, fourth, fifth, however you want to call that. The five and the six, a couple longer shots, go to the lead. They're going to make it a little tough for Life Talk. She's not going to have a perfect trip. She's going to be stuck wide in that first turn. We'll see what Jockey Jose Ortiz decides he wants to do with her once they get settled on the backstretch and move into the far turn. 24 and 3, very slow, which is a little surprising because of how quickly the 5 and 6 hustled to the lead, but as soon as they got into the turn, they must have slammed on the brakes. Still a good position here for the 4 life talk. Again, the 1, who could ask for Mo in a, in a rough spot after that hard-checked break. The 2 power squeeze is sitting a nice trip if she wants to spring the upset, but she's going to have to try and navigate her way around those front runners as the 4 life talk begins her move she's just going to go three wide around this whole racetrack at tampa bay downs if she's good enough she'll still overcome it two is being pressed too hard to keep up and is not responding now there's the three life talk is being asked for it now she's going to need to go after this top two and really show her class we'll see if she can get it the two starting to make a run out if she can get that inside it oh i see daniel centino was sniffing for that rail now it opens up for him we're going to have a race here from the four Life Talk and the two Power Squeeze. Life Talk is out of the race and she's going to be last of five. Power Squeeze with a huge move up the rail comes through a nice solid finish. Not an ideal trip through the turn there from Power Squeeze. A big upset in the Suncoast Stakes. I'm sorry, last of six was Life Talk in that spot. Uh, 24 and four from the three quarter to the mile. Not that fast. And then also just nothing that's super in the stretch there uh wow holy cow what happened to life talk uh is it because she didn't get the lead i wonder she she wasn't pushed hard to the lead she didn't break super quick but still not a good effort it has been a rough couple of weeks for the todd pletcher bar and uh, fierceness throwing up a complete dud life talk throwing up an even bigger dud Locke not making it to the Sam F. Davis stakes, which will be later on the card. Not not what you want to see if you're a Todd Pletcher fan or if you're Mr. Tapp himself. But uh, hats off to the two power squeeze. Springs the upset at 3-1 to one there. Again, nice riding from local jockey Daniel Centino to shoot up the rail when the opening was there and then have enough to power home. The number one, who could ask for Mo? She ran well. She ran well after the, having to check hard, trailing throughout, and still got up for... Uh, for a second over a group of three fillies who were you know long shots for a reason and then again I don't know what happened with life talk we'll have to uh, hear from Todd Pletcher after the race because that was so bad it's unbelievable from the two to five favorite but there you go power squeeze your winner of the Suncoast Stakes gets her Kentucky Oaks points and I'm sure that we'll see her back again for the next one at Tampa Bay Downs what did you think about this race what did you think about life talk that was pretty whoo bad in that spot let me know down below in the comment section before you leave hit like on the video subscribe to youtube.com slash racing dudes make sure you visit racing dudes.com for free picks every race every track every day across the country and until next time good luck